It's Brittany Dunn with PowerboatNation.com and Speedboat Magazine. We're here at the 2019 Miami Boat Show. I'm accompanied here with Stuart with Mercury Racing. And uh, so tell us about this impressive display you have. There's a lot of new things that Mercury has put out throughout the years that's always put y'all ahead of the industry. So uh, tell us about the newest thing that y'all have come out this year. So we uh, launched our new 1100 competition engine here at the Miami Boat Show. It's a, it's a competition version of our current 1100, and uh, the idea behind that is we wanted to provide a uniform power plant for uh, racers, crews, and throttlemen to basically uh, show their skill set and uh, let the, uh, the, best, the best team win the championship. So every engine is uh, mechanically tamper-proof, it's sealed. We have an ECU that we bring out just for race day that's uh, uh, tamper-proof. And uh, that way uh, we can police everything and make sure everybody's got the same equipment uh, for the races. Hello, everybody. It's Bob Teague at Speedboat Magazine at the 2019 Miami Boat Show. We're here with Steve Miller from Mercury Racing and, um, and in front of, in front of uh, the new race version 1100 that is going to be used in extreme class in offshore racing this year. And... Uh, we were able to get Steve away from the crowd. It's very busy here on a Saturday. Uh, Steve, tell us about this format and whatever else is going on exciting uh, with Mercury Racing right now. Well, we're really excited about this new class. It's part of the P1A PBA Offshore Spec class. And it, we're really excited because we think it's, it's time we bring a spec class back into the world of a high horsepower powerboat race. So that really puts it all to the driver's skill and the boat setup and the prop selection for the day and the boat. And, you know, everyone else is all running on a level playing field with the power. So this is the power that's going to be behind it all. This is our QC4 uh, 9 liter V8 power plant. Uh, it is 1,100 horsepower. It's got our competition series graphics and paint package on it. More importantly, as a spec class engine, it's tamper-proofed and sealed uh, to ensure a level playing field for the racers. So, you know, I'm sure the obvious question is, uh, you, you produce a 1100 uh, for pleasure boats, and this is a racing version. Uh, what is really different about it? Well, there's not a whole lot different about it. It basically is the 1100. We do relax the Guardian strategy just a little bit on this one for competition use. But again, the main thing is that it's tamper-proofed and sealed up to give you a level playing field. And in fact, we're going to be uh, we're going to be even bringing ECMs uh, to each race. And so the the ECM that comes with the engine will be your practice ECM basically. But when it's time to go and Go, go and race and actually compete. We're going to take that off. We're going to manage the ECMs. We're going to put them on all the racers' boats, and we're going to take them off when they're all done. I guess the other thing, if I could point it out real quick, Bob, the cool thing about these 1100s is even as a race engine, they still only need to run 89 octane fuel. So it's a good cost of ownership value proposition, and the refresh time at 1100 horsepower, even for a racer, is going to be probably several seasons. Hey everybody, it's Brittany at the 2019 Miami Boat Show. I'm here at the Mercury Race and Display with Scott Ryko and the newest addition to the team, Nick Peterson. So uh, tell us about what's going on in store for 2019. So at the Miami Show here, we introduced two new Max 5s. The Max 5 has become a popular prop for cats and some center consoles and also some stern drive applications. Nick, why don't you tell the highlights? So for 2019, we're coming out with two new additions to the Max 5 family. Not only did we come out with a 15 and a quarter inch diameter, but also a short tube version for single application, 300R, bass boat type applications. When will a bigger pitch be available? 34 is as high as we go, and that's it. So I'm not sure what, uh, what application you want more pitch when it comes to the Max 5. Well, the application would be um, the Mercury uh, 300 outboard uh, and the RPM limit. Right, right. So right now we have a 175 gear ratio with the Sportmaster gear case. In the future, that's going to change. That's going to change to another gear ratio, so that'll bring the pitch range down. So we'll be okay. But today, um, if they need 36 or 37 pitch, we make the CNC outboard cleavers all day long. Yeah, 
Yeah, we started working with bullet owners down in Florida and Texas for single application 300Rs and cutting that short, cutting the barrel off of the on the new model for the short tube by three quarters of an inch, really settled the stern and got them dialed in. Right, so like where the bullet was getting 93, 94 and a little too much stern lift, a little uneasy, now they're locked in at 96 and a half on rails. All right, well, thank you, Nick. Thank you, Scott. And uh, we're here at the Mercury Racing Display at the 2019 Miami Boat Show.